Good morning. Uh, a couple of brief announcements. Uh, one, for those of you who are asking about Father Dunbar, he seems to be doing, doing well. We're trying to pester him as little as possible, and it seems like he's trying to pester us as, as little as possible, so th things go on. Uh, we do ex expect him to return next week, and by this time next week, morning prayer should resume in, in the rectory, uh, attended by Jude, who will no doubt be starved for affection from the last week or two. Um, more immediately, uh, as you may have heard, this region is expecting severe weather this afternoon, uh, perhaps very severe, and schools are closing, uh, some businesses are, are closing, and we were, we, we were initially scheduled to have events here at, at the church, uh, a five o'clock communion service, and then the gathering on the mall for those interested in, in talking about improvement plans and sharing ideas about that. Both of those events have been canceled as, as well and will be rescheduled as soon as possible. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. Grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Father, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Vanity found on page 459. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepare the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, Proved me and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Psalms appointed for the 18th day of the month at morning prayer are Psalms 90 through 92 found on page 453, Psalms 90 through 92. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever the earth and the world were made, thou, thou, art, thou art from everlasting and the world without end. Thou turnest man to destruction. Again thou sayest, Come again, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as the watch in the night. 
As soon as thou scatterest them, they are even as a sheep, and fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and groweth up, but in the evening it is cut down, dried up, and withered. For we consume away in thy displeasure, and are afraid at thy wrathful indignation. Thou hast set our misdeeds before thee, and our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For when thou art angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end, as it were a tale that is told. These days of our age are threescore years and ten. And though man be so strong that they come unto fourscore years, yet is their strength then but labor and sorrow, and soon patheth it away, and we are gone. But who regardeth the power of thy wrath, or feareth aright thy indignation? So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Turn thee again, O Lord, at the last, and be gracious unto thy servants. O satisfy us with thy mercy, and that soon so shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Comfort us again now after the time that thou hast plagued us, and for the years wherein we have suffered adversity. Show thy servants thy work, and their children thy glory. And the glorious majesty of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper thou the handwork of our hands upon us. O prosper thou our handiwork. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Whoso dwelleth under the defense of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, Thou art my hope and my stronghold. My God, in him will I trust. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter and from the noisome pestilence. He shall defend thee under his wings, and thou shalt be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness and truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for any terror by night, nor for the error that flieth by day. For the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the sickness that destroyeth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yea, with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the ungodly. For thou, Lord, art my hope. Thou hast set thine house of defense very high. There shall no evil happen unto thee, neither shall any plague come nigh at thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee in their hands, that thou art hurt not thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt go upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt not tread under thy feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him up, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him. Yea, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord, and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most Highest. To tell of thy loving kindness early in the morning, and of thy truth in the night season. Upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the lute, upon a loud instrument, and upon the harp. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy works, and I will rejoice in giving praise for the operations of thy hands. O Lord, how glorious are thy works! Thy thoughts are very deep. An unwise man doth not well consider this, and a fool doth not understand it. When the ungodly are green as the grass, and when all the workers of the wickedness do flourish, then shall they be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, art the most highest forever. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, lo, thine enemies shall perish, and all the workers of wickedness shall be destroyed. But my horn shall be exalted like the horn of a unicorn, for I am anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see his lust of mine enemies, and mine ears shall hear his desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, and shall spread abroad like a cedar in Lebanon. Such as are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of the house of our God. They also shall bring forth more fruit in their age, and shall be fat and well liking. That they may show how true the Lord my strength is, and that there is no unrighteousness in him. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the 34th chapter of the book of Exodus. And the Lord said unto Moses, who the two tables of stone like unto the first. And I will write upon these tables the words that that were in the first tables, which thou breakest. And be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. And no man shall come up with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount, neither let the flocks nor herds feed before the mount." And he hewed two tables of stone, like unto the first. And Moses rose up early in the morning, and went up into Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tables of stone. And the Lord descended in a cloud, and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed by before him, and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth." keeping thy mercy for thousands, forgiving inequity and transgression and sin, that there will by no means be clear the guilty, visiting the inequity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. And Moses made haste and bowed his head towards the earth and worshipped. And he said, "If If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, Let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us, for it is stiff-necked people, and pardon our our inequity and our sin, and take us for thine inheritance. And and he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people. I will do marvels, such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation, and all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord, For it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. Observe thou which I have commanded thee this day. Behold, I drive out before thee the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jesuite. Take heed to thyself, let thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, whither thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. For thou shalt worship no other god, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a-whoring after their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods, and one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. And thou take their daughters unto thy sons, and their daughters go a-whoring after their gods, and make not sons go a-whoring after their gods. Thou wilt take thee no molten gods. The feast of unleavened bread shalt thou keep. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, as I commanded thee, in the time of the month of Abib. For in the month of Abib there camest out of Egypt. All that openeth the matrix is mine, and every firstling among thy cattle, whether ox or sheep, that is male." But the firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb. And if thou redeem him not, then shalt thou break his neck. And all the firstborn of thy sons shalt shalt redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In erring time and in harvest thou shalt rest. And thou shalt observe the feast of weeks of the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the feast of ingathering at the year's end. Thrice in a year shall all your men children appear before the Lord God, the God of Israel. For I will cast out nations before thee, and enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land, when thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord thy God thrice in the year. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven, Neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Passover be left unto the morning. The first of the first fruits of thy land shall bring into the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not seethe a kid in his mother's milk. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. 
And he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses which not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him, and Moses talked with them. And afterward, all the children of Israel came nigh, and he gave them, gave them in commandments all that the Lord had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. Until Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone. And and Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak with him. Here endeth the first lesson. Benedict is today found on pages 11 and 12 in the Book of Common Prayer. O all you works of the Lord, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. All ye angels of the Lord, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O you heavens, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O you waters that be above the firmament, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O all you powers of the Lord, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye sun and moon, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O you stars of heaven, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye showers and dew, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye winds of God, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye fire and heat, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye winter and summer, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye dews and frosts, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye frost and cold, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye ice and snow, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye nights and days, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye light and darkness, bless you the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. O ye lightnings and clouds, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the 31st verse of the 8th chapter of the Gospel according to St. John. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest you, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the ser- servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. Ye do do the deeds of your father, then say unto him, We be not born of fornication, nor have one father even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me, for I proceedeth forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, 
and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he spaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan, and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgment. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keeps saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, If a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Whom makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Then, he, then took up they stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Here endeth the second lesson. The Benedictus S. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. He hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the land of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant. To perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us. That we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, Ghost born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and, and the life, life everlasting. Life. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. 
O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that we who for our evil deeds do worthily deceive, deserve to be punished, by the comfort of thy grace may mercifully be relieved. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and doth forgive the sins of all those who are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely, trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy governance, may be righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, the high and mighty ruler of the universe, who dost from thy throne behold all the dwellers upon earth. Most heartily we beseech thee with thy favor to behold and bless thy servant, the President of the United States, and all others in authority. And so replenish them with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, that they may always incline to thy will and walk in thy way, and do them plenteously with heavenly gifts, Grant them in health and prosperity long to live, and finally after this life, to attain everlasting joy and felicity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the helpful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing, Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their suffering and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. O God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of the souls of thy servants departed, and grant them an entrance into the land of light and joy and the fellowship of thy saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I bid your prayers for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord. And let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we be thine unworthy servants to give, to give thee, thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of our world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, 
Give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.